All right, guys. Well, letting the machine warm up a little bit, but we are back out in DeSoto. Uh, all the houses are framed. Uh, all the houses are roofed. All the houses are boxed in. Um, this is where we had the big giant backfill. We backfilled all these houses. Now we're out to, we're mainly going to work on lot 15 here. Uh, we've got to clean up, you know, a bunch of stuff. Got some concrete debris. We've got, oh, a bunch of wood and stuff here, there, and everywhere. We're going to make some piles for the builder to burn. Um, and we do have it everywhere. We've got to clean up some of the mess from the flat work guys. We have some backfill to do. I've got... We've got our pile of dirt back here that doesn't look like it's a very big pile of dirt now. I don't know if somebody's, it looks like people have been dipping into our dirt, uh, but the dirt's just basically settled down. It looks like somebody's pulled into that pile, but uh, we need to backfill basically all this up here, get everything kind of filled up nice and heavy because then they're gonna cut a, a sidewalk in that goes here and maybe around the side of the house. Um, but we need to get a lot of this stuff cleaned up anything burnable we need to put it in burn piles he's already got some piles started but we'll try to get a lot of this stuff pulled out and uh you know into burn piles and stuff actually he probably wants to save that so i'll probably i'll probably try to get a lot of this stuff out backfill that and then i'll probably just hand stack that back over there because well i don't know where he's going to use it at i guess everything's got siding on it but there's no reason to to burn up you know three or four pieces of siding there but anyways house is looking good we need to get the rest of it looking good so uh i don't know we're gonna have a day out here and then if i can get everything else pushed up into piles on these other lots too as well we're gonna do that but this is kind of our focus um this is actually the builder's personal house that we're working on and you know i'm gonna try to get driveway at least graded it would have been nice if the flat work guys would have stripped the forms um i don't know if you guys are flat work guys and you watch my channel do you guys strip your forms so three companies that i do work for mainly brian um you see me tearing his driveways out all the time with the excavator um he strips his forms before he leaves i don't know why every flat worker that i go behind they don't strip any forms i, I don't understand it Um, 
there's a TMG Industrial. That's one of them. Um, and then the other one's not in stock, but they have it in stock, you know, free shipping. There is a Titan brand. It's not Titan Attachments. There's two different Titans. There is a Titan Attachments that's made in the U.S. And then there is a Titan, uh, which is palletforks.com. And if you watch all my videos, that's where I bought my cheap rake. Um, see, like stuff like this, I need a dang grapple. But I want a, I want a smooth bottom grapple. I know what I want. I borrowed a buddy of mine's brush grapple. I don't like it. Um, and I've used another buddy's uh, like rock bucket type, type of grapple. I don't like it for what I do. I want something that uh, I want something that I can grade with and all that. Didn't want to have that much dirt in there. See if I could have grabbed that with a bucket or with a grapple and then put it in there. You know, I could have shaped it all.
this place in dirt.
know, figure it out and see if I can make this backyard grade out and work the way it is without doing some heavy dirt moving. And I don't know what it's going to look like yet. I don't know if I can make the backyard work with the way they've got it right now. my day. 